Excellent, found it. We're here at Garmin UK's HQ near Southampton to have a look at the G3000 touch green glass cockpit. It's on its way back from eBase to the States, here for a few days, and we've nobbled it for an hour. Let's go and have a look. OK, Alistair, can you tell us what the Garmin G3000 is all about? The G3000 is being designed for Part 25 aircraft, so it's more of a jet system. It's really a visual and interface upgrade to the G1000. You've got the three larger displays, the PFD1, MFD and PFD2. And the biggest change are the touchscreen control panels, which is going to give the pilot and the co-pilot full control over the information. Looks very Apple iPhone-ish. Is that how it works? Well, this one actually uses beams crossing across the display and it's easier control on the display itself so you can't slip and press the buttons. OK, let's try something on here then. Well, at the moment, we're somewhere over Middle England, just departed Oxford. Let's try putting in a direct to Farnborough. So activate that. Although there's no approach plates uh, loaded into this, it's got the terrain data, it's got the maps, and we can see that it's drawn a line from Oxford to uh, Farnborough, and we're on our way there. As you can see on the PFD as well, it's drawn the highway in the sky to show the direction that you're heading through. So if you disengage the autopilot, you can line yourself up and fly the route that it's directing you to. So it's, it's very similar to uh, the, the G1000 with showing the airspace. How do we go in and have a look at what, what that airspace is? It's all done through the, uh, the control knobs here. You can see here you've got your range minus and plus and push to pan. So if you push that, your cursor appears on the display. Right. And then when you highlight a particular area, it gives you the information at the top of the display. Let's have a look at some of the other bits. Systems. This is showing fuel, electrical, hydraulics. These pages are all designed for the OEMs who will be installing these in their aircraft. So who's going to be getting this, uh, this system first? The first aircraft will be the Honda Jet, which was displayed at eBase this year, and the Piper Jet is the other aircraft that we have announced at this time that's got the G3000. But it's not going to be available as a retrofit at all? The G3000 will be an OEM only option. Let's have a look at what else we might have a look at. It is just like using a little computer, isn't it? A touchscreen it computer. Is. It is. Mm. You've got all your uh, flight plan information. So once you've done your direct tour, or if you want to build a flight plan, you can go straight there. As you press it on the touchscreen, it also brings it up onto your MFD to show you where you're currently situated, what's in your flight plan. And as you manipulate the touchscreen, it'll add it to your display so that you can see what's changing. Mm -hmm. And once you've got your flight plan, you can then also load your procedures. So you've got your approach, arrival, and departure information and you literally just tap which one you want to load. The airport data is there, and then you can choose the approach you want to activate. And this uh, particular system doesn't have it loaded at the time, uh, but you can have your Jefferson chart view information or your jet view, and that will load up the georeference charts up onto the MFD mm -hmm. so that when you're doing your approaches, you've got all the data there available for you. Presumably this is all designed to work with uh, the EGNOS system when that's, when that's uh, operational? Absolutely. All the boxes behind the scenes are WAS capable and uh, that uses exactly the same system as EGNOS when it's up and running in Europe. Okay. So when do you think the first uh, up and running system will be? I believe Honda Jet is due for 2012, so it'll still be a couple of years. At the moment, we're still, uh, still in the design phases. We've got the prototype system up and running, but uh, a couple of years lead time and we should be uh, straight out there. So that's the Garmin G3000. It's really all about the touchscreen keyboard here, which makes the process of navigating your way around the whole system that much easier to learn. It's going to be fitted in the Honda Jet. So Honda, when you're ready, so am I.